friends, my name is Sean Leather and here we have Kate Johnson. How is mommy and daddy? Welcome to Light Kidding Sunday Service. Look who is here. I let Kitty to talk. Yay! Praise the Lord. You're welcome to church, children. This is Sunday. We are not acting church. This is church now. Let's close our eyes as we pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. We pray that you teach us yourself. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Last week, can you remember what we did? You were taught something last week. And the song goes like, read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day. Pray every day. Hope you can remember. Let's give ourselves a round clap. Let's give ourselves a clap. So today and this month, we're talking about parables. Hmm. What is a parable? Hmm. A parable is the true story Jesus used, short stories, Jesus used to teach us the truth about the Bible. Can we say that together again? A parable is a short story Jesus used to teach us the truth about the Bible. There are different parables in the Bible. If you can remember, there's by parable of the talent, parable of the sower, parable of the good Samaritan. But today we are talking about the parable of the sower. I want us to all sit down. Let's sit down. Let's get our seats. Let's sit down. We are talking about the parable of the sower. Hmm. Who is a sower? A sower is a farmer that plants seed. So the parable is from the Bible. It's from Mark. It's from the Bible in Mark. The story is true. It's from the Bible. Jesus used it to teach the children. So the, par the parable goes forth. There's a story. There was a farmer, a sower. He had seed to plant. As he was going, some fell by the path. Some fell on rocky sand. Some fell on good soils. But the only one that did well was the one that fell on good soil, was able to grow. He was able to grow and he wasn't um, choked by the cares or the worries of this world. The one that fell on the path, of course, you know people will trample on it because it's on the path. The one that fell on the rocky soil could not grow because it was rock. We all know there are three things that plants need to grow. Soil, sun, and water. The one on the fertile soil was the only one that was able to grow. Do you think something was wrong with the seed? No, 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 no. Nothing was wrong with the seed. The seed signifies the word of God. The word of God is pure, is true, and it never changes. It's our hearts that need to be fertile souls for the word of God to grow. As we read our Bible, as we learned last week, we read our Bible every day, we grow every day in God's word, and we become adults that are good and are excellent in all that we do. The word of God, what we've learned something in this parable, the word of God is true, it doesn't change, it's a fact, um, it's, it's excellent. The word of God is everything we would need. We have the word of God, everything we would need to make it in life, to go on in our studies and when school resumed, to be good children, to our siblings, to our parents, to be good to our siblings. Everything we need is in the word of God. So that is the parable of the sower. The sower went out, was dropping his seed, some fell on the path, some fell on the way on, on the path which is the wayside, some fell on the rocky soil, some fell on the good fertile soil. And only the ones on the good fertile soil was able to germinate. I believe we might have questions about the word of God again, like I said. I said the word of God is true. It doesn't change. It's, it's a fact. The, the, the soil was the only problem. The, the seed was good. The word of God is a truth. And it never changes. And it's always, always, always dependable. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I would like us to pray. We're going to pray for ourselves today. Now, before we pray, I, we have this confession that we say that our heart is a fertile ground for God's word today. So we're going to say to ourselves again, our heart is a fertile ground for God's word today. Let's say it again. Our heart, it's a fertile ground for God's word today. For the last time, our heart 
is a fertile ground for God's word today. So we have um, memory verse. How many of us are ready to learn the memory verse? Let's touch our ears. Show me your ears. Touch your ears. Hmm. So our memory verse is Jesus said to them, and, and he says, thus says, Jesus said, who has ears, let him listen. I want us to touch our ears again. He who has ears, let him listen. For the last time, he who has ears, let him listen. We all have ears, we have hands, we have legs, but we know our ears are for listening. So Jesus was telling them they should listen to the word of God. They should be obedient and listen to what God is saying to them part time. He was saying, listen, let's say the memory verse again. Let's take it from here. He says, Jesus said, he who has ears, he who has ears, let him listen. He who has ears, let him listen. That is our memory verse. Let's give ourselves a sound clap. I believe we're attentive. Let's give ourselves a sound clap. And let's praise the Lord. So let's pray as we end this class. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you because you have taught us your word. We thank you that our hearts will remain a fertile ground for your word. Your seed, your word will grow in our lives. And we will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that will bring forth our fruit in due season. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a blessed week. Be good children. And see you next week. And when much people were gathered together and were come to him out of every city, he spake by a parable. A sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down. And the fowls of the air devoured it. And some fell upon a rock. And as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away. because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns. And the thorns sprang up with it, And other fell on good ground and sprang up and bare fruit an hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear.